Good morning, everybody. Hello, hello. It is Thursday, February 15th, 2024. My name is Jennifer Cotton, and I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Midlothian, Texas. And that means I teach people how to make greeting cards, scrapbook pages, gift packaging, and more with stamps, ink, paper, and lots of cool tools. So um, welcome. Thank you for being here, whether you are new or it's your, uh, your 500th time watching. Thank you very much. Um, and welcome back. I love seeing all the people here already. Linda Mansky, good morning in Mansfield. Julie shared already. Thank you, Julie. Uh, Kylie, good morning. Carol, good morning. Love all the pink hearts from Texas. Yes, Carol. Becky, good morning. Sue, uh, good morning to you. Mary, Marilyn, I don't know why I couldn't read your name. Marilyn, good morning. Marsha, good morning. Good to see you, Marsha. Sherry, good morning in Kentucky. Kelly, good morning. Marsha, don't forget to hit the thumbs up. Thank you, Marsha. Um, that's for YouTube. There's a thumbs up next to the live chat. You can hit and that will help me. Thank you very much, Marsha. Uh, Kelly, Marcella in Maryland and Marilyn in Georgia. <laughs> and then the names I can't see over there. Um, Mary Ann, good morning. And Amy, good morning. Mary Ann and Amy, where you're watching the video in the video description, there's a link that says like give StreamYard permission to show your names. If you click that and give them permission, I'll be able to see your names over here. And it's just, uh, that's the company I use to, to put this video in the group. So it's not like private, you know, secret information being given out. But anyway, if you want to do that, you can. Pat, good morning. Um, and let's see, who else? Kelly Pate, good morning. Same thing, Kelly. If you want to click that link um, in the video description over there on Facebook, you can give StreamYard permission to show your name. Uh, or you can say, this is Kelly. Good morning. Hilda, good morning. Lots of people here this morning. Thank you guys so much. Glad you're here. My name is Jennifer Cotton. I've been a Stampin' Up! demonstrator 22 years now. This is my full-time business, so I offer lots of stuff you can do, like classes, um, videos, tutorials, in-person events, etc. And so I'm going to tell you all about that stuff today. Let me remind you, let me find my thing. Um, in YouTube later today, I will add timestamps for the video so that if you're watching replay, especially that will allow you to skip around to the section you want to go to straight to cards, straight to uh, specials, whatever it is. Um, and then I'll add a link tomorrow over here in the corner that takes you straight to my blog, which is stamptherapist.com. And um, you can go check out all my stuff. And even uh, by the way, I never well, I do talk about this. That's not true. But anyway, um, on my blog is where I post info about the cards I make today, like all the details and stuff and full pictures and everything. So anyway, uh, Sandy, good morning. Snowy Marshall, Wisconsin. Denise in Colorado. Mildred, good morning. Denise, uh, Mildred is saying good morning to everybody. Good morning, everybody. <laughs> um, Cindy, good morning in Illinois. Pat, thanks for sharing. Stella, good morning to you. Glad to see you, Stella. Missed you this week on our other Zoom. Um, hope everyone had a great Valentine's Day yesterday. We don't really do, you know, Scott actually asked me if I wanted to go out to eat. And I was like, why would I want to go out to eat on the busiest restaurant day of the year? <laughs> no. <laughs> um, he was like, okay, I just thought I should ask. Um, anyway, we don't give gifts and all that. Just save money and you know uh but anyway hope you had a great valentine's day darlene in texas good morning lori good morning sunshine good morning and darlin in sunny hollywood florida yes we have uh nice weather here in texas right now it's 55 currently and it will be i think close to 80 today something crazy um it is going to be cooler this weekend of course when i have my in-person classes <laughs> so there we go um, okay, so I'm going to jump in and tell you guys about my upcoming events. Oh, by the way, as you're coming on and saying hi, like all these people have, thank you guys so much. Any platform, YouTube, Facebook, my group, my page, um, and on replay. If you just make a comment, say hi, whatever, you'll be entered to win the three cards I'm going to make today. Hold on, let me find where I put the set. With the Jungle Pals stamp set and dies. Jungle Pals 
so cute. So you'll be entered to win those just by commenting on the video. If you share the video, make sure you comment that you shared like Pat and some other people have done. Um, so I'll know you shared it and that will get you entered the second time to win those cards. Um, Cheryl, good morning. Yes, I'm so excited. Cheryl just signed up for my Houston event with Alejandra for demos, demonstrators. I'll talk about the deadline for that, but it's coming up soon and space is really filling up. Barely any space left. Um, okay, so my events, I offer events throughout every single month um, that anyone can take in the entire United States. They're all offered to go, including the one for Houston. And then um, some of them are offered in person. You're always going to get a PDF tutorial with step-by-step -step detailed instructions and measurements. We cut, die cut, punch, and emboss everything possible unless otherwise stated in the class description. Um, you'll cut your own designer paper and kit components if they are included with the fee. And of course, you can take those tutorials if you live anywhere in the world. Um, okay, so what's coming up? First of all, my four monthly classes, every single month, card class, scrapbook class, stamp stack class, and sampler class. They happen in person and to go. In person is in DeSoto, Texas. In person is in two days from now, Saturday, February 17th. And then they will be, the to-go ones are mailed February 20th because there's a holiday on Monday. Um, so I have two card class packets left. We're using watercolor, watercolor melon and bright skies bundles. It's $20 for the four cards or free with a $20 order. Um, you do have to pay shipping to have those cards mailed to you unless you're taking one of the other classes and I can combine the shipping. And... Um, yeah, four cards. So I think they're super cute, but I don't have them here. Landa has them. <laughs> so I can't sneak peek them for you. Uh, zero scrapbook left, but if you're interested in scrapbooking, I offer scrapbook classes every single month. Um, and then my other two, which are subscription clubs, you can join. We have the Sampler Subscription Club. You can join it right now for next month. We are sold out for this month. And we're, but we're using the Excellent Eggs Bundle. It's super cute. Easter sampler this month but anyway it's a 12 by 12 piece of framed art like this this is the one from last month um you put it in a 12 by 12 shadow box and it decorate your home decorate your i should hang one right here so it can be on my video every time <laughs> or maybe right up here anyway uh it can decorate your home seasonally they also make great gifts so um, you can join that club. It's only $35 a month. You get over 20 in merchandise every single month. You get everything cut, die cut, punched, and embossed we possibly can. You stamp and assemble. And you can do in person or to go. $35 for club members, $37 for non-club. Okay, stamp a stack, stippled roses bundle. I think the cards are gorgeous. We're making a fun envelope closure card as well as three other designs. Um, but I don't have the cards here. They're with Landa. And but I have put sneak peeks out there anyway. I have two packs left, it's $37, includes over 20 in merchandise. Plus, it's really way over 20 this month for both clubs because you're getting additional free celebration stuff uh, in your packet. Anyway, you make 12 cards, four designs, three of each, and I just think they're gorgeous. So, stippled roses bundle on that one, two left, two left. So, two stamp a stack and two card, everything else is sold out. Okay, next up, today, today is the deadline, February 15th. Yes, I wrote on my notes tomorrow, but I wrote that because I wrote them yesterday. Um, today is the deadline to sign up for the, not that, sorry. That's the one that sold out. The um, sneak peek, I mean, sorry, the Jen and Jen stamp camp. You're going to make 10 cards. You're going to get a ton of product. You're going to use the up. Well, no, sorry. What's it called? Hot air balloon bundle. Yes, hot air balloon bundle. Ten projects. A cute gift from us. Um, if you take all this plus the two classes, you get a bonus gift. There's a Facebook party that happens on March 2nd, which will be recorded. You don't have to be pre like it's a lot. And then a chance to win lots of prizes. Today is the deadline. Jen is lives in Canada, so she is one of my event partners and she designs half, I design half. You're going to love it. Just go ahead and sign up. And today is the deadline. 
there, I probably have an email going out today, but there will be a link in the one o'clock email that wraps up this video. Just scroll to the bottom. Okay, within that class, you can also take the um, add-on classes. And yes, you can just do an add-on class with no Stamp Camp also. Just click the Stamp Camp link and only select the class. But anyway, you can do the Ice Cream Swirl class, six cards. It includes um, the stamp set, but when you register, there is a, a question and it says, what do you want instead if you don't want the stamp set? And you type it in. That reminds me, I think somebody emailed me about that. <laughs> set substitution. I'm writing myself a note so I can check on that. Question mark, question mark. Okay. Um, but you should put that in the registration. And then the cutest cows class with Genevieve. So I designed ice cream swirls. She designed cows. They're adorable cards. There are six of them, includes a stamp set. You can substitute when you register. So just to make it clear, you can take only ice cream swirl class, only cows, only camp, or you can mix and match. And you can do tutorials only. Just click that link by today. Today's the deadline. Um, yay, Linda, going out of town and can't go in PJs. Okay, we'll let you go get dressed instead of watching the video, Linda, I guess. <laughs> um, but good morning. Debbie, good morning. Joyce, good morning. Sherry, good morning. Sherry, where, yes, you're back from your cruise, I take it, Sherry. <laughs> um, Kelly, good morning. Oh, Kelly, I can see your name now. I love it. Kelly Pate, I can see your name. Um, Marsha, good morning. Cindy, good morning. Thank you for sharing. Mildred, thank you for sharing. Hey, Landa, good morning to you. Okay, so um, next up is bingo. Guess what? Today is the deadline to sign up for bingo. Uh, you're going to make four. Oh, I have some of these projects in person. I forgot. Anyway, you're going to make four adorable projects with the Excellent Eggs bundle, three cards and one like home decor piece. You're going to play bingo. You're going to have a chance to win prizes and you're going to get to be on Zoom with me and lots of other crafters. And that's the fun part. We get to talk at the end and just talk about whatever we want. Usually somebody gives an amazing tip that none of us have heard and we're all blown away. So bingo, you're going to make three adorable cards. We cut die cut punch and emboss, except you will need the eggs bundle for this one to cut up your egg stuff because we realized it's a lot to pre-cut. <laughs> but anyway, um, we'll cut, die cut, punch, and emboss, everything else we can. Um, you're going to make a home decor piece. Super cute. Of course, that will be included with your fee. You get a little gift from me. You get a goodie bag, and you get to play bingo. It's fun. Um, the bingo is on February 29th on Zoom. So, again, register by today. I need a pen to check off what I was saying. Okay, um, now when you register for bingo and camp, there is a info in either registration, basically in both, to combine shipping and, and only pay shipping one time for all of that. So can you imagine you get stamp camp, Genevieve's class, my class, and bingo, four classes for one shipping fee. So check that out when you register. You can combine shipping. So if you've already registered for one, you might as well add on the other one. And uh, you'll see that in the registration. So Beverly, just putting my Jungle Pal stamps together. Yes. Looking forward to what you have planned. I love it, Beverly. Sue. Sue, good morning. <laughs> um, I thought it was a different Sue who had been here. Sherry said her cruise was awesome. I saw pictures that look very similar to our cruise, Sherry, Sherry so I can relate. Uh, Amy, good morning, everyone. Cindy, good morning. Linda, loved your gift in the January Stamp Set Club. Thank you, Linda. We have a, a pretty cute gift this month as well. We do give a gift almost every single month to our club members, almost every single month. I'm we're trying to remember what it was. Was it the calendar? Linda, <laughs> I think it was a calendar, like a stand-up desk calendar. Um, and we have a cute one this month, so join the club. You can still join stamp -a -Stack Club, but sam uh, Sampler, you'd be joining for next month. But do it like, today. Um, okay, 
So retreats, still time to register for the March retreat. You don't want to miss out. Um, Temple, Texas, March 28 through 31. You get an eight foot table, excellent lighting, meals. We had a little thing with our meals, but we got it worked out. Thank goodness. So you're getting meals <laughs> and um, uh, gifts, $50 goodie bag, 10 or more make and takes. This table is like eight and a half feet long, by the way, or maybe it's eight feet. I think that half a foot is wrong. Eight feet long, though. It's a huge table. Who hasn't been receiving emails? Sin, oh, no, no. Oh, yeah, Cindy. Um, I'll have to check into it, Cindy. There's a whole new thing with email spam. Anyway, I'll, I'll uh, see if I can see anything about you not receiving emails. Um, Linda said, yes, it was a calendar gift. Okay. Um, back to retreat perennial lavender bundle for the 10 or more, sorry, perennial lavender suite. There's two bundles in there for the make and takes. Um, and then we, April and I have decided our classes and the link is coming up very soon to take this retreat in a box. So it'll be mailed at the very beginning of April to you. It is. Uh, perennial lavender suite. You always get a bag. You get 10 or more make and takes. You get $50 in merchandise and gifts from us. The optional two classes you can add on, and just like the camp, you can take classes only, etc. We're going to do two Stampa stacks, 12 cards each, four designs, and April McCry is designing the stippled roses Stampa stack but we're each going to throw in a card with the cap and gown bundle. So it'll be graduation, Mother's Day, uh, and general uh, lady, uh, feminine cards. But there's a description in my link when, you, when I put that out. And then mine is the Rockstar bundle, which makes amazing cards. It's black and white paper. Like, it's just amazing. And the cap and gown for one of my cards. So a more feminine, feminine graduation card, a more masculine one, plus the other cards. So that's coming very soon. And if you attend, are attending retreat in person, you'll be able to register for those classes on your own link to take them at the retreat in person. Okay, sign up for the cruise. Harmony of the Seas, Galveston, Texas, um, to 20, January 2025. I start getting my years mixed up when we go that far ahead. Um, here's some pictures from the year before last because I have not had time to update my graphics. But this past year, which we just got back from the cruise. By the way, April and I are doing a video next week. I think on Wednesday. So I will announce it in my emails and all that stuff um, to tell you all about our cruise that we just had. We had uh, almost 40 croppers there and it was just amazing. So Watch, tune in for the video next week on Wednesday. I believe it's Wednesday unless something changes and I don't know the time yet so that we can tell you all about our cruise and you can sign up for next year. We'll show you the projects. We'll show you the gifts. We'll show you everything. Um, but you can register for next year's right now. And we have some great deals. So, for example, Landa and I booked our cruise on the ship so that we could get like onboard credits and stuff. We booked next year's. Then our travel agent emailed us immediately and said, hey, would you like to save about three, $300 off your cruise rate uh, and use our um, uh, group rate? And we're like, of course, <laughs> do that right now. So the group rate always beats any Royal Caribbean specials. And that's what you get with our cruise. Uh, 40 croppers with a C, croppers with a C, um, meaning people that came, but we had over 30 swappers. We had over 30 swappers. I did not get pictures of all of them, but I think Landa did. I need to get them off her phone. Landa, I need to get those off your phone Saturday. <laughs> Cause I think I just, we were so busy that day. I didn't get them done. And I don't think uh, April did, but I think Landa did anyway, over 30, I think it was 36 or 37 swappers. Maybe almost every person swapped, actually. Anyway, it was a lot. Um, okay, last but not least on events. If you are a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, 
The deadline is coming up. February 26th is your last chance to register for the on-stage pregame with Jennifer and Allie. It is almost full. We're actually currently getting with the hotel to see about a bigger space so we can fit more people. But anyway, March 14th, Houston, Texas, 9.30, I mean, 9 o'clock a.m. before the Stampin' Up! events start. Um, you're going to get a continental breakfast, a card class that, of course, you can use at your events with the latte, what is it called? Like it, a latte, I think, bundle, the new online exclusives. I'm trying to find it. Latte Love, Latte Love bundle. Um, eight cards. I believe it's eight cards. Yes. Eight designs, a selection of products, prize patrol. There will be lots of prizes and giveaways. Don't worry. Option to participate in a swap. When you register, you fill that out. And of course, downloadable PDF with pictures, measurements, instructions, as well as full supply list. It's at the Hampton Inn in Houston. You can take this to go if you won't be in Houston, if you uh, won't be in Houston in time, or if you're attending another event, because there's lots of events going on. Any of that, you can take it to go. Just use that same registration link. Uh, it's 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. and time is running out. So register now. Angelique, good morning. Love the heart. Okay, those are my events. Links in the one o'clock email today. On my next graphic. Um, next up is specials. Specials, specials. The biggest special of all is celebration. <laughs> so you get a free gift with every $50 or $100 spent. No limit. Spend 100 pick two 50s, pick 100 Pick two of the same, pick five of the same, pick 20 of the same. Like there's no limits or limitations unless we run out. Um, these items in this book are exclusive, so they are while supplies last, and we're getting to the end of this promotion, you know, about two weeks left, so anything could go at any moment, and it might not ever go, like it might stay until the 29th, I have no clue, but you've been warned, it, it is while supplies last. These items were released uh, as more stuff you can pick free, currently unavailable for pre-order, very popular drink. Hmm. I'll have to look at that, Linda. I got mine already. <laughs> um, let me look. Ordering. Anyway, uh, I'm going to try to look while I talk. This is why uh, we can pre-order and get the stuff before everybody else. Okay. Um, free items. These are catalog items. Sorry or current items that are like not exclusive is my point, but I suppose they could run out too. So get those while you can. Let me see. So only this sweet, what is it? I'm looking to see what's not available. Is it the stamp set? I think it's the stamp set. So stamp sets come back fast. It's the stamp set, the latte stamp set. We make our own stamps, so don't panic. The dies are available, which means that bundle will be back real quick. Um, Linda on on uh, Latte Love. Yeah, we get worried when the dies are unavailable because they come from far, far away. <laughs> um, stamp sets come from Utah. Zinnia stamp set, same thing. Zinnia stamp set, but the dies are available from what I'm seeing. I'm trying, sorry, they don't give us a list on this. I'm just looking at the products. Um, anyway, hope that's helpful to somebody in case you're like, why are you talking about this? Um, so, Linda, it's coming back. Don't worry. And you can order everything else in the suite individually, the designer paper, the ribbon, the embellishments, etc. And you don't, the suite only saves you 10% on the bundle. So you're not losing money if you order those individually. I hope that helps. Okay. Uh, Cindy, hello. Okay, so celebration. It ends February 29th. Don't delay. Get it now. Get Check out all the extra items you can get. There's kits. There's, uh, there's so much. Um, I have a celebration celebration. Now, I've looked at who's registered for this, and it's hardly anybody, but I know y'all have earned it. <laughs> so after you've earned this event, click my link. I email it out. It's in the emails. It's on my blog, stamptherapist.com. And um, 
after you've earned this event from me, go register for it because you need to register um, to be able to get it free. So it's a thank you for me for supporting me during Stampin' Up's biggest sale of the year. Um, and I have rewards for you. This is uh, January through February 2024. If you, first of all, what you'll earn is a free event from me a Zoom event with four stamping projects, a gift from me, and you'll have a chance to play games. You'll be able to play games with a chance to win prizes. Um, you have to fill out the survey to qualify for the invitation, and then you have to RSVP with that invitation, which will be sent out much later. Um, you can earn it three ways. If you have placed orders with me of $150 or more during celebration, you qualify. So you still have time after you place that last order that puts you over uh, register. Take five qualifying classes from me during celebration. They are, um, again, in January and February, stamp a stack, sampler, new catalog kickoff, paper share, uh, get ready for spring stamp camp with Genevieve and mega cruise retreat in a box and bingo, bingo counts as well. I just haven't updated that graphic. So if you, What's happening here? If you have uh, have taken those, mark them down. You can print off that that um, this right here, your tracker. You can print it off, and I did add bingo to it. So if you print it now, it'll have bingo, or you can hand write that in, and then you can check off when you have completed your goal. All right. Any questions? Let me know. Pam, yes. Pam says we are blessed with another with a beautiful day. It is another one though. Yesterday was really nice as well. Um, and Jackie, good morning. Okay. Celebration, celebration, retiring in colors. Yes. It's that time already. Um, what's that? Okay. Can't really see what I'm showing here. Retiring in colors. Um, in April, these colors will be while supplies last, but really in March, these colors are while supplies last because if they run out of something and they determine it's not smart to order it, you know, uh, so your ink pads, your cardstock, your ink refills, your markers, your blends, everything that comes in these colors, designer papers, etc., historically is going to retire embellishments, etc. Um, Orchid Oasis, Parakeet Party, Starry Sky, Sweet Sorbet, Tahitian Tide. In addition, we're talking annual catalog here, the big annual catalog. Most normally, every designer paper retires. Normally lots of ribbons and punches get cut. So anything that you love, love, love from that book, start thinking about now, do I want to go ahead and stock up on that now versus waiting until it's while supplies last. Now they will do while su the list in April. And I believe there are discounts on that list for select items only. Um, so you can take a chance and wait. It might sell out on day one, who knows? So there you go. That's your, your fair warning about the colors. And um, I'm still sitting here looking at these samples. I still forgot to pick up and share. So yeah, so I'm going to, I think I'm safe to go ahead and um, might as well just point the camera down. I've got these samples laying here. I'll sneak peek you these samples from Stamp Camp. And then we'll talk about my online order special. And then we'll talk about the glass mat. And then we'll get started stamping. <laughs> So let me point the camera down. Um, okay, so stamp camp. These are my five samples. You're going to make 10, though, because Genevieve also can't separate that. Genevieve also designed five cards. So um, sign up for stamp camp. Today's the deadline. Stamp camp with Genevieve and Jennifer. Jen and Jen. This is my optional add-on class for Stamp Camp, the Ice Cream Swirl class. You're going to make six cards, super cute ones, and today's the deadline to register, so sign up for that one. By the way, we cut die cut, punch, and emboss everything possible on this class. Look at all that die cutting we're going to do, except for if you have to stamp first, we're going to do it for you and emboss. Um, okay, so there was that. This is my online order special in this month, February, if you place an order, $25 or more, you will receive this class packet, use the host code, of course, you will receive this class packet mailed to you in 
March, we cut die cut punch and emboss everything possible. I made these on last week's video, so you can go check it out. Um, you're getting, oh, sorry, there's all my notes. A fun fold, a shaker card, this fun card, and a regular card. <laughs> so thank you, Vicki. I appreciate that. Here's the info about the order online ordering special um, free class, February 2024. Today is the last day to get the free rainbow adhesive back dots. So with a $50 or more order, use the host code QFUFCXUX to get the cl free class. And um, over 50, you'll get this class packet plus the rainbow adhesive back dots free. Mail to you in March. If your order is 150 or more, don't use the host code. You'll still get those products free and uh, gifts from Stampin' Up, basically. And then starting tomorrow, I'll have a new free accessory. So you can actually earn both accessories throughout the month. And then, by the way, I guess I don't have my rainbow dot belt. They look like this. They're super cute. Rainbow adhesive back dots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight colors. It really is a rainbow. And yeah, so do that. Do that. Any questions, let me know. Um, okay. Oh, I hope I said, oh, I know what it was. I was like, I saw something out of the corner of my eye that I needed to also show on this video before I talk about the glass mat. And I have a little tip here for y'all. Okay, so I have some stuff to share. These are team meeting, team meeting. Customers have mailed me some stuff. So I got this card in the mail from uh, Linda. This was Linda, sorry. I have the camera in a different spot today. Linda Carver, thank you, Linda. She just wrote a little note for me so, she, so I could reuse the card. Um, gorgeous card, thank you, Linda. Um, I wanted to show this one, first of all, it's from, hold on, I got them mixed up. Yeah, this is from Linda, a different Linda. First of all, Linda Thomas, I just got your Christmas card. I have no clue why. I literally just got it. Um, gorgeous card. Thank you. I want to give you credit. Gorgeous. Ooh, heat embossed on the inside. Yes. Um, I just wanted to show y'all that, yes, you can mail clear envelopes. I'm not going to show Linda's address, but she put this card inside this envelope where she embossed the um, flap. Gorgeous. Did not seal it up. Put that in a clear envelope. And as you can see, put address labels here on the outside of the envelope and the stamp on the outside. So our clear envelopes, which are my favorite, you can mail them. Yes, yes. Um, I also had a question recently about cards being returned with like rhinestones and stuff. Let me see this one. Yeah, hers has rhinestones. Um, I always just face those to the back and have the front be flat and knock on wood. I have not had any trouble mailing cards like that. Now, of course, some post offices are more picky than others. So it depends on that part as well. Wood grain lines, great, yes, and then I'll fix this. Okay, um, next up is my, oh wait, sorry, one more card. Terry, I didn't want to forget you. I love this Valentine card Terry sent me, so detailed, beautiful, sponging, like I love it, or blending brush, I'm sure. Gorgeous, thank you, Terry. Uh, okay, these are from my team meeting. Every month we have a gathering that's optional and they can add on the make and take packet if they want. It's deeply discounted. It includes about $8 in product and it costs $10. So it's deeply discounted. This is what they got this month. And um, uh, or these are the projects they made that we cut for them. And by we, I mean Landa. And then they got these bonus ideas as well. So if you're on the team, easy stamp therapist i mean join the stamp therapist and you can get uh those make and take packets each month if you choose it's completely optional and then we had our swap at our team meeting again optional we have close to 200 team members this is how many people swapped obviously it's optional 
Most of these were mailed in to me because our meeting was virtual in February. This was just a card Mary Ann and Robin sent me with the swaps. Thank you. So sweet. So that's just for me. And I love it. It's online exclusive, fluffiest friends or whatever it's called. Make sure y'all check that out. And then um, these are the actual swaps. This first one here was voted by the team as the winner. It's gorgeous. And that's by Yolanda. And then this one, I believe, is Evelyn. It's a, it's a fancy, fancy, fancy card by Evelyn. When you do the swaps, so we had, I think, eight or nine people participate. So you make eight, nine, however many it is, cards, and that you get back one of each. So everybody who participated got back one of each of these cards. This one is a really neat fold. I love that. By Elaine. And she used some celebration paper there. This one was by Robin. Super cute. She heat embossed those little kids. Oh, it's a, it opens differently. Um, it's just super cute. And then this one is by Mary Ann using some gorgeous celebration designer paper. This one is by Martha, and she used the new Latte Love stuff suite of products. So there's a little another sneak peek of Latte Love. This one was by Tracy, and it is a really fun fold. So you open it like this and that. Gorgeous Valentine card. And this one is by Dorothy. And I don't know if y'all seen this yet. Dorothy's is the first one I ever saw with that. Um, where, anyway, she used the watercolor melon, so the watermelon stamp to make chips. Is that not adorable? There's a window sheet in here. I don't know if you can see that shiny, so it looks like, you know, cellophane bag or whatever that chips might show through. Adorable. She got a lot of votes, too, on the voting, by the way. Holy guacamole, it's your birthday. It's so cute. And I was like, oh, because our meeting was, the day before the Super Bowl. And I was like, oh, Dorothy, you did a Super Bowl card. She's like, I didn't even think about that. I just made a card, but adorable. So super cute water, the watercolor melon stamp set can make you some chips. There you go. Uh, you do have to hand cut those out though. Okay. I was reading your comments. Um, Lori, good morning, by the way. Linda, are you trying to make me have ice cream? Yes, I am, Linda. Can the Hot air balloon PDF. Uh, you yes, Marilyn. Red, you have to register today. So click the link for the Jen and Jen Stamp Camp and only select the option for the um uh what what you just said tutorial. Sorry, <laughs> but yes. Um, and you'll get the PDFs for all of the classes. Minnesota shared. Thank you, Lori. Must reconsider that free stamp set. Linda, I don't even know which one I showed, but yay. Um, fat card envelopes require hand stamping and extra postage at my post office. That's what Kelly says. So yeah, each post office is different. I mean, like it should be uniform, but for some reason they're different and less picky or more picky, you know. I'm just saying, knock on wood, I've never put extra postage on any card ever. <laughs> I just drop it in the drop it in the box. But, you know, sometimes it might come back. Who knows? Um, Pat says swaps were amazing at our team meeting. Agree, Pat. She, of course, was at the team meeting. Cindy said chips are really cute. I agree. And hey, Cindy, good morning to you. All right. So last chance. You've got about two weeks to take advantage of this special to get the glass mat studio for free 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 this glass mat studio cost me sixty dollars it is oh i forgot to wet this today <laughs> this is what your chamois looks like not wet it wets it like gets moist in two seconds when you put it in the sink um so it comes with the glass mat the silicone piece and the chamois which can wipe off the whole glass mat, anything you put on there, ink, etc. 
And this Shami, my team member, did a demonstration at our team meeting, which is recorded. So if you join my team, you'll be able to, you know, go watch the team video. It's all good. Um, she did a demo of mixing inks in here. And she, this thing wiped completely clean, white, when she, after she mixed the inks. And, and uh, she even, like, wiped a, a, a blending brush on this part, like, cleaned it off. She wiped watercolor brushes on here, et cetera, and just wiped it off with a chamois and it all came back white. So that was cool. Of course, you can hold your Stampin' Spots in there if you like. You can mix inks on the glass. It's heat resistant, tempered glass, all this stuff. $60 value free with our starter kit purchase through the end of um, February. So it ends... February 29th and what you pay is $99 plus tax you choose $125 in any merchandise you want and you get this glass mat studio free now you might be like I don't want the glass mat studio I don't need it I already have one you know whatever your deal is and in that case trying to fix my thing there um you don't have to get it you can instead choose a different kit option, which includes $155 of merchandise for $99 instead of our usual $125. $125 or $155 with no glass mat. So anyway, you're like, well, what is that? I don't want to be a demonstrator. What do you mean by the demonstrator kit? Okay, it means you get a discount on your purchases. And you get in the you get in the um, in the the exclusive club to get a discount on your purchases. That's what it means. Um, do you have to sell? No. Do you have to buy? No. Do you have to do classes? No. Do you have to do parties, videos? No. 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 Um, do you even have to take advantage of your discount? No. I recommend it because it's a discount, but you don't have to. Um, so, any questions? Let me know. Can you get, what does it say? Can I get the glass mat deal if I already did the other one? Let's see who's asking. D, you cannot. <laughs> so anyone who's a current demonstrator cannot buy the starter kit. So once you buy the starter kit and you're currently a demo, you can't buy the starter kit. Um, so hopefully that makes sense. And, but hopefully if there are any glass mats left, Stampin' Up's going to let demos purchase them in, uh, in March, we hope. Knock on wood. Um, Carol, no problem. And I'm trying to read if there's any questions. Is there a monthly requirement to main in the demonstrator category after joining? There is a requirement let me um i just want to show y'all what i'm holding in my hand i'm going to write down requirement so i don't forget to answer that kelly um okay so a lot of glass mats are magnetic apparently and i was like why do they need to be magnetic but anyway of course betsy showed us in my team meeting and so she showed us this magnet board it comes with like nails or screws or whatever you put it on your wall it's a dry erase magnet board um, she showed us this on Amazon. I have it in my Amazon store, stamptherapist.com. Just go, you know, go to stamptherapist.com and click the Amazon link and then click the store and you'll find it. But anyway, um, this is a magnetic. So she showed us, she bought this and she just slipped it under her glass mat. And I think you could even attach it. It's almost the perfect size. Oh, I almost dropped it. Let me just show you upside down. It has these little feet on it. There's four feet. This fits in between the feet. So I think you could attach it. Like it's some kind of strong glue and just glue this if you want it to. It does make it heavier. Um, and then your thing will be magnetic. Now I added a layer of chipboard. This comes with a piece of cardboard in the packet. It's too thick, too thick. Your feet don't touch the ground. But if you add a chipboard, then this is uh, touching the glass mat. So 
so it makes it magnetic. So I thought that was really cool. I think everybody on my team thought that was a really cool tip. And we all went to Amazon and ordered that thing right away. Um, so if you already have the glass mat, you know. So see, it's still stuck to my table, even with that one. And that's just the chipboard from Stampin' Up! from Designer Paper. And then here's one of my magnets from my retired Stamparatus, which I covered in tape. And so you can hopefully see that that is magnetizing there. So there you go. It's free. No obligation. Um, okay, so, <laughs> so sorry. Bummer D, yes. D, message me, text me or something. Well, I'll give you more info. Um, the requirement to stay a demonstrator, to stay a demo is, I'm going to put some product here while we talk because y'all are probably like, is she ever going to stamp? Um, is 300 a quarter. What happens if you don't meet it? Nothing. You just drop out. Like, okay, you can't see stuff early anymore. You can't get your discount. You can't buy product early. You don't get news early. You know what I mean? You can't, you'll be kicked out of my team, <laughs> Facebook group, etc. cetera. Um, that's it. That's all that happens. The 300 is quarterly, not monthly. So you can do it all in one quarter or spread it out. And it can be your own purchases the full amount before your discount counts. So that was a question that was asked by Kelly. And so that is the answer. I hope that makes sense. But if it doesn't, comment and I will um, answer. Okay, does the magnetic, hold on, where is this question? Does the magnetic whiteboard work without the glass mat? So, who asked that? Amy. I'm not sure why. Yes, but not the same. It's not the glass mat. It's not made for stamping on. It is a, uh, a magnetic board that you can put on your wall. So, Amy, if clarify if that's a, if I didn't answer that properly. You definitely, it's not designed to go under a glass mat. So, you can use it separately, of course. I hope that makes sense. And I think it's a dry erase. I think it's dry erase. I can go to Amazon real quick and look. So today, while I look that up real quick, I'm going to make cards with the amazing Jungle Pals stamp set and dies. They are both free with an order through the end of February while supplies last. I'm finding this. Display board for wall, metal board, pre-drilled holes. Okay. Great for hanging photos, shopping lists, and more includes pre-drilled holes. Actually, it does not say it's dry erase. So I'm not sure on that. I'm not sure if it's dry erase. But anyway, let me look at these pictures. They don't show you dry erasing on here. It's just magnetic. I have it linked in my Amazon store. Okay, hopefully that makes sense. Does the magnetic whiteboard work without the glass mat? I think that's the same question. <laughs> I thought it came through again. Hey, Lisa, good morning. Um, okay, so Jungle Pals. Red rubber stamp. All of my stamps are out. It's five adorable jungle animals. They're, they're like cutesy, not super serious ones. They're all smiling. There's a lemur of... Uh, a sloth, a tiger, an alligator or crocodile, I don't know which, and a toucan. Um, outline images, you can color them in, although you can, the way they, the detail on them, you can stamp them on the color paper that they, their color is and just die cut them out. Um, but you definitely can color them in, which I'll be doing today, coloring. That's free with a $50 purchase, no limit as many of these stamp sets as you want jungle pals and then free with a 100 dollars purchase is the jungle pals dies these dies are amazing of course you can cut out all of the animals tiger alligator sloth lemur and bird 
and then you have all these dies left to do stuff with. So there is like the edge of a tree, which I will show you how that one works. Um, it's a, a trunk with embossed lines on it and three branches coming out. There's like some tropical or not tropical, jungle type large leaves that like grow up from the ground or down from above. Anyway, grass type leaves, one, two, three, four, five of those on one. There's four other, no, five, one, two, three, four, five other different size and shape leaf, leaf images, leaf dies that also emboss images when you die cut them. There is a vine with five leaves on it. Oh, and then flowers. There's two flowers, which I have not used the flowers yet. And those are all standalone dies. Okay, so that's the dies. It is 15 dies total, free with a $100 purchase, no limit. Get as many of these dies as you want. <laughs> and of course, demonstrators, by the way, another perk is we qualify for customer specials. A lot of companies do not let you do that. If a customer gets something free, the consultant does not. We Stampin' Up! is not that way. We get it free if they get it free. So, um... So that's how I got that stamp set, obviously. Okay, so let me grab my packet for card number one. Card one. I just got this cute set. So excited to see what you do with it. Yay, Janet. Um, okay, so for card number one, I have a um, pecan pie card base. It is five and a half by eight and a half. It's basically an eight and a half by 11 piece of paper cut in half. So you'll get two out of one piece of paper. They'll both fit into the invitation size envelope like we were, I was showing you earlier with the cards I got mailed. And that's also the size of our clear envelope. We call it medium. Medium clear envelopes, medium white, medium vanilla. Okay, so we're going to fold this pecan pie cardstock in half. So when you cut your eight and a half by 11 in half, you'll get two cards out of one piece of paper. I'm using the bone folder to fold and that'll give you less wrinkles on the inside when you use the bone folder. This card will be portrait so I'll leave that kind of facing up there. And then the other pieces for this card are, uh, by the way, if this card looks familiar, you took my kickoff because this is from my kickoff, this card and the next one, except I changed the next one. That's one thing. And yeah, so it's it looks familiar, but the third card is brand new. Okay, uh, Granny Apple Green card stock that has been embossed with the Twisted Rope Embossing Folder. It's a little rectangle, and I have these measurements for you over on my blog at 11 a.m. Central today. So there's the Twisted Rope Embossing Folder from our annual catalog. And then the next layer is a little bit smaller, balmy blue cardstock that has been embossed with the Cascading Ruffles embossing folder from our annual catalog. So that's one of the bigger, larger embossing folders. Okay, then we have, for my greeting, I pre-die cut a basic white piece of uh, from the deckled rectangles dies. It's the smallest rectangle and our greeting will go on that. And then the rest of these pieces are just where I die cut out uh, the tree and greenery from the dies I told you about. So I did this, the smallest two leaves in granny apple green, the next two medium sized leaves in shaded spruce and then the I guess largest leaf it is larger than this one technically this it's a single um in lemon lime twist and then that grass piece that's like really large leaves one two three four five of them in granny apple green so it's just a bunch of greenery to to decorate this card with now for the tree what I want to show you is when you die cut this tree trunk, if you just stick it in the middle of a piece of cardstock, the edge at the edge of the tree trunk that 
the opposite side from where the branches come out does not cut. It does not cut. So it embosses those three lines like tree, you know, bark or whatever. And it cuts on the opposite side, which I'm not going to say left or right because it depends on how you laid it on the table, but it cuts the branches and the opposite side, but it does not cut it out of the paper. So to get this piece here for this card, which is longer than I need, I'm going to trim some off. I put my die at the very edge of some pecan pie cardstock. And I most likely did it like this. Uh, so top edge or bottom side edge, at just, oh, the magnet <laughs> at the very edge. And then um, trim off the bottom. Hope that makes sense. That's just like FYI. You find it out the first time you used it as well. But that's how it cuts. Okay. Now, um, this will be taller than I need, like I said. Okay. For my image, I am using the sloth for this card. And then my greeting, I am using others because there's no words in this stamp set. So I'm using some other stamps today for greetings. And I'm using heartfelt hellos for this card. And it's going to say, enjoy your day. Heartfelt hellos is free with a $50 purchase. No limit. Spend 100 get two, and so on through the end of February. And this is, um, uh, I'm going to try to say it's all words. Dad, you're the best. Hello. Happy Mother's Day. Love you more. Enjoy your day. And thinking of you this Easter. So heartfelt hellos. It's a great sort of all occasion stamp set that you can get free until the end of February. Okay, apparently I forgot to grab a scrap of white. I technically pre-stamped the sloth, so I'm just going to do this real quick here um, for demonstration purposes, but I won't go through the whole entire process. So Memento Black Ink is what I'm going to use and stamp the sloth on a scrap of basic white cardstock. Of course, I've got my Glass Mat Studio here for a great stamping surface. You can also use a really hard, firm, flat table or our Stampin' Pierce mat. You do need a nice stamping surface. The glass mat is great for that as well. And then uh, coloring. I'm just going to use, oh, that's why it's not here. My crumb cake blends are in a class and I didn't want to pull them out and forget to put them back. I'm going to color the next one so it's fine. You'll see how I color. But this is just very simple coloring. I used dark crumb cake where little shadows would go and then I went over the whole thing with light. I left the face white. Simple coloring there. Now I recommend you die cut it out and then color because if the die slips after you did all your coloring you're going to be not too happy. Not too happy. Um, okay so enjoy your day is going to be in granny apple green. One of the mini greens that I used for this card. By the way, Terry, hello. And Terry, I showed your card already, your Valentine card that you made. I showed it earlier. Okay, I'm gonna tap, 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 don't press hard. Tap, tap, tap. I don't know if y'all can see it, but that E is not inked up well. So good idea to take a look. <laughs> and just tap so that you don't get ink from the, I mean, ink on the edges of the red rubber where you don't want it. Hold it for firm for several seconds. Boom, you get this beautiful image. If you press, the harder you press on your ink pad, the less ink you'll have on your stamp. So, tip there. Um, okay, that was Granny Apple Green. A very juicy, I just re-inked it yesterday, Granny Apple Green. Okay, so all we have to do is put this together. We're going to build the little scene on the balmy blue rectangle. I think I said this, but measurements on the blog at 11 a.m. Central. And <laughs> Marcia says, love sloths. Yes. So on our cruise, the particular cruise we do, um, Marcia, there is a sloth. There are multiple sloth tours people can take. Um, at where you get to hold a sloth. So if you look, 
in my like the pictures in my group and stuff you'll see people holding sloths it's it's really fun um, a lot of people do, did those tours and do those tours and use my stamp and seal i have not done the sloth tour nor has landa with me but she probably wants to <laughs> um okay, i'm gonna grab my silicone craft sheet so i'm looking and i want the top part of this tree so that i can hang this sloth down here toward the bottom right so i'm gonna it's going to get trimmed down here but that's how i'm going to position this so i'm going to add adhesive to the back of this tree trunk thing using my silicone craft sheet so i don't get excess adhesive on my glass mat or table or scratch paper or whatever so i'm going to attach the tree to the very far right of this rectangle of balmy blue and then I'll just turn it over on the back and cut off the excess. And it's a pecan pie color tree. I love pecan pie. That's such a good color to me for browns. Um, okay, and then I don't need this. The sloth is going to be put on with Stampin' Dimensionals. I'll just do about three. He's like a little triangle shape. And the sloth is hanging upside down, of course. Or I don't know if that's of course, honestly. But anyway, I'm putting him hanging upside down from that bottom tree branch on dimensionals. The greeting is going to end up going over here kind of at an angle. I actually should put that on after the cards glued together. But I'm just going to place it there for like a little guide of where to put everything else. So I'm just going to place adhesive on the back of all of these leaves. And I want to mention for my um, sight impaired customers that on the leaves, so I said there's two smaller, two medium, and then the single. The two smaller are different sizes. There's like a smaller, smaller, and a little bit bigger, smaller. And the two medium ones are like a longer, longer, skinnier leaf with just one line down the middle. And they're each one a slightly different shape and one's slightly smaller than the other. Okay, and then there's a the larger one that's more like a tropical leaf. Okay, so I'll put adhesive on everything here so I can just place it. I think I'm just gonna place these on here lightly and I am trying to copy my previous card I made, but um, if you don't press hard when you place these down, you can slip things under or move them. All of these leaves are coming from the top. They're like the top of the tree. So at the very top against the balmy blue line, I placed the largest piece that's like grass. And then I will put these two long skinny shaded spruce leaves kind of together like that and they're going to be coming out from under this grouping of leaves here and again i'll be able to rearrange this if i don't like it i'm going to place the two smaller leaves together like glue them together and then put them on top of everything and then my fancier leaf here coming out from the back on the left. I think that looks good, so I'll press. So just make some leaf, a little leaf thing up there. Who knows if that all will grow together? I have no idea. Okay, then we're going to add adhesive to the back of the granny apple green rectangle that is embossed with a twisted rope and just put it on here at an angle on the front of the um, pecan pie card base. So it is going up on the right down on the left angle then flat again i will attach the balmy blue piece that i just add, added all that stuff to at the opposite angle up left down right however it looks good to you then i will add stampin dimensionals to my greeting enjoy your day i think i better do four i'm using mini stampin dimensionals because I love them, but you can use regular ones also. Same, like either one works. 
And on this, I'm actually going to lift up these green leaves a little bit and these longer uh, shaded spruce leaves, I should say, they're all green, and just have them coming in front of the greeting. And the greeting is on an angle on the left in front of the, I mean, above the sloth. That's it. That is the card. Enjoy your day. Is that not cute? I live like five miles from Duke University and have a Duke lemur center. There are endangered species and the center is help, helping to keep them from becoming extinct. That's awesome, Janet. Okay, so there's card number one. Chance to win just by commenting on this video, even on replay, YouTube, Facebook, YouTube comments. Like It doesn't matter. We enter everybody. All right. I hope you all like that. Card one. Next up is... <laughs> Thank you, Cindy. Card two is what's next up. Okay, let me slip this one piece of paper out so you can have a slight surprise. Um, card number two is a crumb cake card base. Crumb cake. And then I have some pieces here. Like I said, this one is from my event as well, my new catalog kickoff event that we had a while back. However, um, um, I'm trying to see. Oh, I did change one thing on this one. Okay, so crumb cake card base. Let me fold that in half. This will be portrait as well. All three cards today are portrait. Then the next layer is a skinnier, for the front of a card, a skinnier rectangle in granny apple green. Can they sneeze? <coughs> oh, excuse me. Goodness. Granny apple green. And then the next layer on top of that is a rectangle, you know, made to fit right inside with a skinny little border that is lemon lime twist. I feel like I cut that the wrong size. I think it's too short, but we'll just make it work. <laughs> um, lemon lime twist that has been embossed with the fern embossing folder. Which, where did I put those folders? Fern embossing folder. So luckily we have lots of folders that go well with this jungle type stuff. <laughs> Sloth hugs are the best. I saw Sherry at DES from our cruise and I saw Sherry who wasn't on our cruise, but she was on a cruise like the week after us. I saw pictures of her hugging a sloth also. Okay, then we have a circle, basic white circle from the uh, Stylish Shapes dies. I believe it's the second from the largest. My stuff is magnetized or getting stuck to the magnets here. Second from the largest. I don't think this is very strong with the dies, though. It's not super strong with dies, like going to this magnet. Oh, because, oh, you have to stick a magnet to it. Duh. Okay, that's fine. Hello. Um, I'm not, I'm not that. I forgot to take my phone out. It's on my list when I do these videos to remove the phone from the room and I forgot. Okay, style of shapes. Next up, the leaves here. These leaves are punched from this amazing punch that you may possibly have um, forgot that we sold. It's the Tropical Leaf Punch and it's online only. So it's got my little pink dot. For me, that tells me you can only buy that in the online store, or anyone can buy it. You only see it in the online store. Um, so the Tropical Leaf Punch makes these adorable about two inches, almost two inches tall by two inches wide uh, tropical leaves. And then I emboss them with the Basics 3D embossing folders, the one that's the one that puts the little hash marks in. So you get all three of these folders in one pack, online exclusive only, but that's the one I used. You get the dots, the flowers, and the hash marks. Um, so that's a great punch to go with this stuff, and it's just great. There is a stamp set that matches it. It might be bundled. I can't remember if you can bundle it. 
Also, this is a side note. When I was making these cards, I was looking on my stampin' stuff.com and I typed in animals to see what other animal stamps we have. And I'll show you one of the ones I found because I'm using it on this card, but I didn't end up using little monkey. And I kind of think the monkeys are a little bit too large to match with these animals. But if you just wanted to make like a bunch of animals on a card and you know, whatever, little monkey is a good one to combine with this stamp set. So don't forget about little monkey, but I did not end up using it. Um, I did end up using for my greeting. Oh, I'm going to show it later for my greeting on the last card. Another animal set I found. Okay. Last but not least is I need a scrap of basic white. Again, why did I not get scraps out? I have no clue. Now I'm going to grab this one. I got scraps for the last card, but who knows? Um, this is going to be the tiger card. I'm stamping all the animals today in memento black. By the way, I have some linen thread here as well. Memento black for the animals, and then I'll die cut them out and color them in. So memento black is a pad that you can actually press hard on because it is not foam. It's a firm surface. So you can press firm to get that good stamped image. Die cut that out and then color it. But I've already done that, so I'm not going to die cut it out right now. I believe I have to die cut on the last one. So you'll see that if you don't know how to die cut. However, I'm going to color. So I'm just going to use pumpkin pie, Stampin' Blends. These are alcohol based markers. So I stamped in a water based ink and I'm going to color with alcohol based markers. And I'm just going to use dark pumpkin pie. I'm using the fine point. I grab my glasses. Um, using the fine point with the dark first to add detail. Oh, I'm going to use black also for the nose. Anyway, black, uh, dark where I see or where I think some shadows or. I guess interest might be the right word should go, but since I'm not artistic, that means I'm tracing these stripes. <laughs> and I kind of looked at some, the way some people colored this on Pinterest and kind of copied where they put shadows. So I'm just tracing each tiger stripe with pumpkin pie, dark, putting a little, like I did a line where the, face connects with the body, a little dark on the, some of the paws here. And that'll be pretty much it. If you're on my other card for the class, we stamped this tiger on pumpkin pie cardstock and die cut it out. Simple, no coloring. Now I'm just going to take light and go over the whole thing. But if you're coloring it, you can leave part of the tiger white, like real tigers have some white on them. So like under the neck and under the stomach, Stampin' Up! has defined that in the stamp set. Oh, I colored the eye. In the, what am I trying to say? They have defined that in the stamped image. I forgot I don't have to color this whole thing because I already did it. Anyway, it's defined for you, so you don't have to make a fake line and not color that one section. Hopefully that makes sense. So yeah, so just color it in like this. Go over the dark with the light to blend them together. You can go back and add more dark if you want to and blend it again, like all that stuff. And it'll color something like that, but here is the one I pre-colored for you. Get these lids back on right away. Alcohol evaporates. They dry out quick. So see the white belly and the white under the chin? Super cute. I really do like the tiger colored in better than just stamped on pumpkin pie cardstock, but in a pinch, stamp it on, and on pumpkin pie cardstock, and you'll be fine. So there's that. Hey, Juanita in California. 
Yes, they were so sweet. The little micro monkeys were hyper, but fun. <laughs> I love it. Uh, yes, this is a really cute set, Amy. I agree. Okay, I'm going to add a greeting from the same stamp set as before. The heartfelt hellos, which is free with a $50 purchase. I'm just going to stamp hello on here. It's a cute little cursive hello uh, on the circle toward the bottom left of the circle in lemon lime twist. So it's a real pretty cursive hello. I forgot to describe the greeting on enjoy your day. It's a super thick solid enjoy print and then below that your day in a thinner all caps print. It's all all caps. Hello is all lowercase and cursive. Okay, that's all we need for this card. Let's put it together. Adhesive to the lemon line twist, embossed with the ferns, and that goes on the granny apple green layer. And then this goes on the card base right in the center. So it's a tall rectangle. It's just not as wide as the card like it normally is. Again, I have these measurements over on the blog at 11 a.m. Central Stamp Therapist.com. And then my leaves, I'm just going to slightly curl my leaves with a bone folder. Nothing super specific or exact, just curl them a little bit, any direction, whatever. Just kind of curl the leaves up. And then those are going to get attached behind the word hello, sort of to the top right of that. So I'll just put some adhesive there. Trying to look at my original. Just attach them to the back of the greeting, something like that. Again, you should be able to move that around if needed um, before you actually attach this to your card. So I'm just going to see if it's kind of how I want. I want the circle centered left to right, but it's a little toward the bottom of the card. And then the tiger is going to be end, end up going at an angle above the word hello and partially on the leaves. So I do think those leaves are in a good spot. So now I'm going to add Stampin' Dimensionals to the back of this circle and leaves. So I glued it all together. Probably more than I would normally put stamp dimensionals, but whatever. Okay, so again, the circle is centered, but it's lower, not like centered top to bottom, centered left to right on the green section. By the way, don't you love my I think I was testing black ink pads on the back of this and I was like, nope, let me get a different black one. <laughs> different. And uh, anyway, and then the ink bleeds through when you color with Stampin' Blends. So the back of this tiger looks a hot mess, but the front looks fine and that's all that matters. Okay, so tiger on dimensionals. Uh, this dimensional is showing like that. I did not place that one well. These are the mini, so you can hide it, but you need to pay attention on the tail. Okay, tiger at an angle there. Super cute. And then I have some linen thread here. It is about... 13, 20, it's about 21 inches of linen thread. So I'm going to fold it in half. And then I'm going to treat those two pieces as one and just tie a normal bow, just a regular old bow. I don't like that, so I'm going to do it again. <laughs> This one's hard to, to describe on, a, like, to instruct, but because it's just a regular bow. I have trouble making a bunny ear bow with twine. I don't know why. It's just too thin for me. It's like I can't, my brain gets tricked, and I don't know what pieces are what. 
Okay, so I have its double bow. I'm going to cut those, that one loop apart and trim this down. Trim the tails down. Okay, and then I will mini glue that dot that onto my card down here at the corner of hello on the white piece. And that is the finished card number two. Card two. Hey, Connie. Thank you. Hey, France. Dang it. I'm today. And I uh, forgot to take it out of the room. Okay. So that is card two. Now here's the original where we stamped on pumpkin pie. So it's not horrible. Like it's fine. And anyone who got that card from you would love it. You know, all the stuff. But if you have time to color it, I think it does look better. Colored. <laughs> this is the one you'll get if you win the prize. So make sure y'all comment on this. Hey, France, thank you. All right, card number three. So if you took my new catalog kick off, this is a different card, new design. Card number three, we have a um, mossy meadow card base. Unfortunately, these animals are not stamped. Um, Mossy Meadow card base. Let me fold it in half. Thank you, Martha. I did love all the texture on that card as well. Portrait card. Next layer is regular layer size old olive. And then the next layer is this brand new awesome designer paper the zinnias. I showed this last week when I showed all of this new product. Go watch last week's video. You can see all of this new product that you can get in the starter kit right now. What's available. Um, and you can, if you don't do that and you're not a demonstrator, if you're a demonstrator, you can get it now. Or you can get it in the starter kit. Or you can get it March 5th. So this um, flowering zinnias, I showed it last week. And when I showed this one design here, I said that would go great with the jungle animals. So I decided to, you know, challenge myself and make myself do it. So this was the one that has the, it's a lemon lime twist on the background and then old olive and mossy meadow, really large tropical looking leaves. Now they're probably zinnia leaves, but you can make them be tropical looking. They have veins drawn on them. I don't know. I don't know how to describe the leaves, but they're really nice. So that is the designer paper that's going to go next on top of the old olive. Then I die cut out a bunch of stuff for this card. So the sort of grass type leaves, there's two in mossy meadow and one in old olive. I cut out the two smallest leaves, one of each size in lemon lime twist. I cut out the vine image twice, once in old olive, once in mossy meadow. And then the tree, just like pretty much just like I cut on the other card, except I forgot. Or maybe, I don't know if I did something different. But anyway, I cut it at the edge of the pecan pie cardstock and I got the full tree top to bottom. I wanted to show you too, you can get two out of a piece of paper. So there's where I cut one. So your paper, let me mark because I didn't measure this. Sharpie. So from this line... Now, let me put this magnet into full use here. Right there. Pull you out. Don't move, though. Okay. So, your paper needs to be about two and a half inches wide. Two and a half inches wide. And you... Because of the way the branches align, you'll be able to cut one from branch, one tree from one side, trunk, whatever, and one from the other side. And the branches miss each other. Hope that makes sense. Okay. 
Anyway, this is taller than I'll need, but I'll trim it down. Okay, and then I have a scrap of mossy meadow here and a scrap of basic white. So for this card, first of all, the greeting is going to say, hope your birthday is wild. So I found this by looking on my standandstuff.com, typed in animals, current, and uh, found that. Hope your birthday is wild. This is a an online exclusive called Rhino Ready. Again, more animals to mix with these animals. They're a slightly different style, but it just depends on if that bothers you or not. And uh, there's three different rhinos. There's some grass you could use with these animals. And then there's sayings. You're built tough. You're stronger than you think. It's a great day. Hope your birthday is wild. Hello, friend. So, there you go. You could mix that, mix and match that with this stamp set as well. Okay. Um, let me get to stamping. I need all the animals we haven't used yet. Lemur, alligator, or crocodile, and toucan, and the greeting. And black ink. I agree, Amy, that designer paper is really pretty. <laughs> Can't wait to work with it with the flowers as well. Okay, I have my camera in a different spot now, and I just hit my head on it. <laughs> okay, um, I was about to wipe off these Sharpie marks, which, by the way, that just comes off with hand sanitizer or stays on remover. Okay, so alligator crocodile, black, lemur. I twist and then I tap to, to stamp these well. Black and toucan or fruit loops bird. By the way, Tony the tiger back there also. Very similar to Tony the tiger and the fruit loops bird, whatever his name is. Toucan Sam, is that it? <laughs> anyway, okay. Okay, who said, I like the tiger. Who's, sorry, I can't see the names. Tommy, like the cut tiger colored in better. Amy, Tommy, cute cards catching the end of the video. Love it, love it. Okay, so I'm going to loosely cut these apart and then die cut them out. In case my die slips, I won't have to do all my coloring again. So... My stamp I cut an emboss machine. Always put your dies in long and skinny if you can. So even though the alligator goes this direction, if you can turn it that direction, even better. Another reason to cut your paper apart so you can maximize the best way to die cut. Um, and that's for distribution. It just cuts better. Then line all this stuff. I have to be very quiet. <laughs> Just kidding. Trying to concentrate though. The bird, there are holes in the die, but they are not ejection holes like sometimes they are. They are alignment holes, so you can see where the feet go. You can make sure you aligned it well. So use those holes to make sure you see the image through there. They don't, you don't need them to poke it out on this particular die. Some dies you do, this one you don't. One time through. She didn't need that hole at all. <laughs> and there are the animals. Okay, my toucan's cut a little off, but you know, I'm on camera, so don't, don't judge too harsh. Here they are, super cute. And then I'm going to color them in. I need these. 
Okay, so for these guys, oh, I forgot to add the nose on the tiger. I just remembered that. Hold on. Let me do that. I'm going to use black, dark black. Oh, I didn't forget because I forgot I've pre done this, but I use dark black on the nose. Black and pumpkin only. That's all I needed. So, just in case, don't forget. Dark black on the nose. Okay. Um, okay, lemur is gray. That'll be easy. Smoky slate. I've got dark here. Um, I'm just going to add some shadows where, you know. I'm just going to make up where some shadows should be, basically, on the lemur, little crevices, whatever. <laughs> I don't even know. And then I'll color the whole thing with light. I really should put these glasses on. Go over the dark parts to bring it all together and not just have two separate sections of dark and light. You want it to blend out and look natural. Again, you can go back and add more dark if needed. Uh, if you blended so much that you can't really see the dark anymore. But you just don't want it to be a harsh, dark spot or line. You want it to fade out. That's why you color over it. And by the way, I'm no coloring expert by any means, so... These are basic, basic tips, nothing advanced here. I don't know that. Okay, so gray lemur. I'm trying to remember, I guess they were sloths. Landa and I did see on one of our tours, but they were. Um, really far away in a tree. Like I only spotted it once. They were up in a tree, but we did see some in the wild though. Um, okay. So I have light old olive and light lemon lime to color this al alligator guy. And uh, my old olive has an X on it, which usually means this is dried out, but I'm keeping it anyway because I like refuse to Get rid of them but it was fine so i'm thinking sometimes we think our blends are dried out and it's just like they've been like we used it a lot and i'm sure that was from a class anyway you might just keep it for a minute and put the lid on it and put it away and see if it works after a while <sighs> okay so that was old olive light and then lemon lime light. Oh, sorry, hold on. For my light color. I forgot I was gonna do the little spikes on the back with the dark also. Which are like little triangles there. Okay, now light all over. I did try to not color the teeth green. So have to be real careful to avoid the teeth. And the around the eyes. Just like the tiger when I accidentally colored his eye earlier. Probably should have added some shadow under that chin. And the toenails, I'm not sure what color they should be. So I left them white, but he has little nails, so... Maybe they should be a certain color, black or gray or something. La la la, what else? I can't read comments right now. Yeah, you can see my hair in the video, how close I am to this. There we go. You can color with blends for 
30 minutes and it won't break down your paper because it's alcohol based. Um, it just bleeds through, like we said. But you can't oversaturate it. Now, you might end up not liking the color you came up with, but that's another story. Okay, for the toucan, I'm going to use black, dark basic black, and pumpkin pie light and dark, and calypso coral dark. So, I'm going to start with dark calypso coral and go... My favorite is the lemur and grr tiger. Linda, I love it. Um, the front of the beak I'm going to do in Calypso Coral. I did do my thing where I googled the real animal. Their beaks don't really have three defined, at least the ones I saw when I googled it. I could be wrong. They don't really have three defined stripes like this. So I was like, okay, whatever. I'll just look at, then I typed in cartoon toucans. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I got more like this just to see what colors to use. But anyway, I put the darkest, um, which was coral, coral dark at the front of the beak. Then the middle is dark pumpkin. And then the back part closest to the eyes is light pumpkin. And then the bottom of the beak. I forgot I did also just add some dark petal pink inside the mouth. It's very subtle, very subtle, even in person, but it's not white. So, and then I use the dark black on the back portion So these feathers that are coming off of the head. And then there's like a separated back section. So the front section is different. Like I'm leaving it white, but I guess you could color it as well. Now, I've seen some amazing coloring on Demonstrator Planning Place, which is a Facebook group just for Stampin' Up! Demonstrators and Pinterest where, oh my gosh, the shading and, yeah, they did amazing, but I don't have those skills. And then, of course, there's a wing and a tail feather here that are black. Playing tricks on my eyes here with this tiny area to color. Definitely bullet point for these. But it definitely is worth it also. Let me pick these up. There's our animals. Super cute. Hey, Sherry. Good morning. Thanks for sharing. Okay, uh, now putting this one together is gonna is fine, but I don't really know how I put it together. <laughs> this is like the things are layered on top. Anyway, we'll just figure it out. It's gonna be one of those. Let's press down lightly so we can pick up and scoot things under and all that. The greeting. Hope your birthday is wild. I'm gonna hand cut it out so it's hope your birthday is and wild on bottom. I'm going to make that, you know what, I think this is the wrong color paper. It is. I'm going to make it three sections, but that is the wrong color. It was supposed to be on Old Olive. Uh, where's the stamp? Right there. I'm going to grab an Old Olive scrap, which maybe. Yeah. Just realized that was the wrong color. Sorry. It's too dark. I want it to show a little more against this background yeah very dark okay so anyway I'm still gonna hand cut it out it's three straight lines of those hope your birthday is and then wild this does not have to be perfect and there is an exclamation mark after wild by the way so don't stress about cutting this perfect or if you do stress about it use some tool or something I don't know That's really not perfect. <laughs> um, let's see if I can make hope your is a little bit super unperfect there. That's better. Okay, so hope your birthday is wild. Old olive and then stamp it in black. 
Okay, so I have all the pieces. I am, I think, yeah, I want the tree. So I have the designer paper, then the old olive, then the background. Before I glue anything down on the tree, I want, I mean, sorry, on the designer paper, I want to attach the tree. I'm going to add adhesive to it and at the right edge, just like the other card. Just using my silicone sheet here to keep the excess adhesive off of everything. All the way to the right edge and I am just letting the top be the top and I'll trim off the bottom I think that'll be fine but don't press super hard right now because I want to slip the vines under the tree I just don't know where I want them until the tree is on their scissors so hopefully that makes sense okay and then For layout information, I'm going to place, well, I think now I want to go ahead and place this on this old olive cardstock. Do I? Yes, yes. But I wanted the tree, just because how I designed it, I wanted the tree against the designer paper, not the old olive. That's why I did that first. Now I can place this down. And now that shows me how far out this grass can grow, which I'm going to place at the bottom. So I have the mossy meadow toward the right, and I'm going to let it go past the tree, the tiniest bit into that old olive section. Then the next section will be the old olive leaves grass, and then on top of that, mossy meadow. So that's how that's going to go down get placed down but hopefully it makes sense why I wanted or why I attached the tree to the designer paper then go ahead and attach the designer paper to the old olive also I am aligning the bottom of the grass with the bottom of the designer paper not the old olive And I'm just putting adhesive at the very bottom of this grass because I might tuck things into it. There's the placement of that. Color the left wing of the bird. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I can't see your name. Let me see. Can I see your name? Cindy. Thank you, Cindy. Yes. I blended the thing. Let me grab my tool. If the blends ever do this, which I have like three out of 500 that I own that do that, I'm not strong enough to pull these apart. So I have to have pliers, whatever those are called. Needle nose pliers. Teaching thing there. Okay, glasses, hold on. Tiny. Pays to look at comments, right? <laughs> Much better. <laughs> Thank you, Cindy. Okay. Um, all right. So we have the grass on there. Next, we're going to have, this is just like FYI, the alligator is going to be kind of behind a lot of this grass down here. Uh, the bird is going to be on the alligator's tail. The lemur is going to be on the second or middle branch. And the vines, which I'm going to put adhesive on now, will be coming out like the lemur is going to climb onto the vines. Do they do that? I have no idea. It doesn't matter. It's going to look cute. So I'm using my silicone craft sheet so I can just add little bits of adhesive to the vine, mainly to the leaves. And uh, the excess won't go, uh, you know, all over my work area. So this vine is going to get tucked under the tree. 
this old olive one I'm putting down first. And it's just sort of ending where that second tree branches. And then the darker mossy meadow one goes next, just kind of let them be offset from each other. See how you just have to like mess with this card and like figure out where you're gonna put stuff as you do it. I don't like that, hold on. <laughs> oh, I see how I did it different. It went under on top, sorry. One moment. More like that, lower the, the mossy one. You have to tuck it under whole thing. Somebody smarter might be able to do that a different way than me. Okay, now lemur on dimensionals. Just kind of climbing off that branch onto the, oh shoot, he's too, his tail was too far, uh, off the branch onto the vine. Alligator flat, because it's down under this grass. I'm just like tucking it behind some of the grass. Mm -hmm. And then toucan on dimensionals. <laughs> yes, Cindy, thank you. Uh, he's just on the tail of the alligator. Then these, this greeting is really going to you know, fill in this blank space here. I also have these two little lemon lime twist leaves. I'm gonna connect them together and then put them behind the word wild on the left of it. So they're coming out of the word wild. And then I'm going to add Stampin' Dimensionals to hope your Birthday is and wild with the leaves. Again, my minis are a perfect size for this project, so love that. Okay, hope your top left section at an angle birthday is under that at the opposite angle and then wild will end up below the vine at an angle as well. Everybody's wild. And then we will attach this to the card base. I probably could have done that a little while ago, but that's fine. Turn the card the right direction. If you would like a chance to win these cards, make sure you comment on this video, replay or live and that is card three that is it sorry card three if your birthday is wild i like this one better my first one because i die cut the bird better so see i did color the wing um so i'm gonna put this one in the prize for you guys to have a chance to win so these are the cards from today. Jungle Pals, free with a $50 purchase, no limit. Uh, well, the stamp says free with a $50 purchase. I should clarify. The dies are free with a $100 purchase, but there is no limit on any of that. So um, get as many as you want. And if you're a demonstrator, you qualify for that with your own purchases. So don't forget about that. Um, Thank you, Janet. I'm glad you are ready to case those. Carol, thank you so much. Thanks for telling me color that because I would have been, I always get super irritated at myself if I discover stuff after the video has ended. I'm like, ah, you... <laughs> anyway, so I appreciate that. And Margaret, thank you. Yes, Sandy, I agree. Also the back side of that paper, this design is just these two greens in stripes. So it's perfect as well. 
Um, Mary Ann, thank you so much. Beverly, thank you. I'm gonna go backwards here. Kelly, thank you, Kelly. Jennifer, good morning. Sherry, good morning to you. Just saw you there, Sherry. And thanks for sharing. Sharing, Sherry. Juanita, thank you. Trying to make sure I didn't miss too many. Alejandra, thank you. <laughs> France, thanks so much. Carol, thank you. Jeanne, thank you. Uh, don't forget over on the blog today at 11 a.m. Central, I will have, which is in 10 minutes, um, the recipe cards for these three cards, measurements and supply list. The only thing not listed is the new flowering zinnias designer paper. It's not listed on the right because it's not available to customers yet. Um, but I have it listed here, just not on this side. If you see any mistakes, though, let me know and I will fix those for you. Um, so you can get the recipe cards there. I'm going to remind you of my host code special to get a free class packet from me. Um, and of course, remind you my blog address is right there. Stamp my stamp and stuff. You can go check that website out as well. And then you can see all my links at Linktree slash Stamp and Jennifer. Um, anyway, if y'all have any questions, let me know. I hope you have a wonderful week and weekend because uh, it is the weekend. The DSP Janet is um, where did I move it to? Hold on, I moved it. Oh, right here. Flowering zinnias is what it's called. Yes. And it was, it's a new release. I'm sure you know, but comes out um, for customers March 5th, dem demos now. And this is the pattern. And this is the back of that pattern that I said also to me what would look great. Even some of the flowers, honestly, because these are like, I don't know the colors, but anyway, those two. That's the back of it. Those two patterns are great for the Jungle Pals. <laughs> Thanks, darling. Julie, third is your favorite. Thank you, Julie. By the way, only five spots left for on stage. Everybody alert. Five spots left. Five spots. Hello. Register now. <laughs> um, thank you, Alejandra. She's keeping up with the numbers for us. So I don't know unless I ask her. <laughs> we each have our own duties on these events. Thanks, Terry. Love the new DSP. Yes, I agree, Cindy. Awesome. Well, y'all have a great day. Guess what I'm going to do? Go eat chili and do my editing that I do after this video. Don't forget, ends February 29th. This stamp set, these dies, this free glass mat studio. Um, and uh, or if you don't want that 155 for only 99 plus tax free shipping. And I didn't even say earlier, they throw in a free past paper pumpkin kit. So the value is in the hundreds of dollars for only 99 plus tax. Some states don't even pay tax. We do in Texas, but if you live in one of those states, you're even luckier. So um, if y'all have any questions on that, let me know or anything else. And I will um, see you hopefully next Thursday at 9 a.m. Central. Bye. <laughs>